Okay, so here's part two of my tips on buying a Reborn doll uh, video. And uh, in, the, in part one, I mentioned uh, that if you are buying a Reborn doll, you always have to ask for tons of pictures. And if the artist is not sending you pictures for some reason, just uh, move on to the next doll and save yourself the disappointment. And I, uh, I will give you detailed um, information about uh, what should you look for in the pictures and what uh, should you avoid when seeing something on the picture. So I have uh, here with me Marley and Sky. Uh, she's a good example and she's a bad, bad example. Uh, as you can see Marley doesn't have a hat on, Marley doesn't have a headband on she is wearing a, a t-shirt with like a, a short sleeves and shorts and uh, Sky is wearing a hat, pacifier, a long sleeve onesie with mittens and uh, socks so why is Marley the good example? it's uh, very easy to see the whole doll so you can see the head you can see the hair, you can see the, the limbs and sorry she's not so red, I don't know why see even my hand it appears like really really red it's not... Uh, I'm using my uh, daylight light bulb and it's kind of acting up anyway so uh, you can see the hair, you can see the hairline why is it uh, good that she's not wearing a hat? Obviously, you can see the hair, you can see that she's really nicely and you ha always have to ask for like close-ups and not like, okay, there's a doll. You, you have to see the, the hair. Uh, many people who make dolls, they, uh, they root the doll up to like here and then they fold down the hair towards the, the front and then they put on a headband and... Uh, it's uh, it's really really funny looking if you you know if you receive it all like that, which <laughs> I see it all the time on Facebook and Instagram, and it's it's just uh, not realistic. It's unnatural. I know that Marley is not rooted perfectly, so I I rooted her. I'm I uh, I know that it's not perfect, but she's a very nice uh, hairline, and uh, most of the parts of her head are nicely rooted. So. First, first try. It's, it's very, very good. But on Facebook and on on eBay, you will see dolls with like uh, thickly rooted hair, which are like really, really pluggy. It's not really picking up. But uh, but here you can see that uh, uh, there's only one or two or uh, a couple of hairs per per follicle, and uh, that's how it's supposed to be. And many people try to hide the fact that they cannot root, and they put hats on their doll and they put headbands on their doll and uh, it's just uh, so that they can hide the ugly rooting that they did so that's a bad sign if all, if the doll is wearing hats or headbands in all of her pictures um, I'm not talking about like the, the top artists who like uh, some people very few people they, they do like an amazing job rooting and uh, the hair is really really nicely lying flat on the head and uh, they put a headband on for the photo shoot. That's, that's totally fine. I'm just I'm just talking about these uh, cheaper reborns. So um, like you know what you you see on on Facebook for like two hundred dollars or less even. And uh, you have to be really really careful because uh, I'm just playing with her <laughs> because. Uh, it's really easy to fool people, you know, you fo they fold it like uh, to the front like this and then they put on a headband and it looks like it's rooted nicely but uh, in reality it's not. So always make sure that uh, you get pictures of the back of the head, like uh, I'm not going to turn her around now but uh, you get it. So the back of the head, the top of the head, the, the hairline in the front and uh, that you can only see if the doll is not wearing a headband or a hat, so it's obvious and uh, moving on to the next part
part, you have to see the limbs. So if the doll is wearing long sleeves, you cannot see the limbs. So you have to be able to see what you're buying. And she has nice full limbs, so she can wear uh, sleeveless shirts or like this with the short sleeve. Uh, if the doll on the pictures in the auction or um, you know the artist is sending you pictures with the doll covered up like this how do you know what you're buying I mean it's obvious but uh, you know some people just don't know this some people don't expect people to you know scam them or um, you know so for some people it's better to to spell it out and just point it out that it's wrong so this is right and this is wrong same goes to the legs uh, you kind of want to see what you're buying so the best is uh, if if you can see um, the the full limbs of the doll or you know it's this is uh, right because you can see uh, all her foot and and size and, and everything you can see and this is wrong because the doll is all covered up so uh, another thing is that uh, when the doll is uh, wearing a pacifier you cannot see the mouth and many people are bad at painting mouth and it's not realistic at all so uh, here you can see the mouth you can see that uh, she has a little gums in there she has a little tongue in there and uh, even sky she has the cute little mouth. I haven't glossed it. I recently repainted her. And uh, if you put the pacifier, you just won't be able to see it. So it's uh, it's better to to ask for pictures of the whole doll and save yourself a disappointment. Many people do like a really really dirty job on the ears and uh, you know it's best she's bald right now. <laughs> it's best uh, you know to if if the artist is artist so if the doll maker is uh, sending you pictures with uh, the whole doll covered up just move on and don't buy the doll because you'll be most likely you'll be disappointed and uh, and it's it's really really important to always 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 ask for the pictures Okay, that's about it. That's about what I wanted to tell you about the pictures. So, to sum up, hair, no head, no hairband, no pacifier, short sleeve, shorts, or even if they are in my wear a diaper, that's also fine, and no socks. And uh, ask for close ups. So, you you want to see the details of the nails you want to see the details of the face and not just the face but the whole doll so don't be shy and just uh, ask for pictures and and uh, many times I see if you go on Facebook and you go to the reborn group people post pictures like dark pictures and they say that oh this doll beautifully reborn uh, doll with uh, rooted hair, this kit or that kit, and 200 pounds or, or 250 dollars or something and they they only say like they, they only post like one picture like like one picture with the, with the whole doll covered up or like dark and blurry pictures don't even bother just skip to the next doll you want to see and and just and just don't even bother because you'll either get scammed or you'll be disappointed with it all so that's my advice to you if you have any questions or comments just uh, comment below thanks for watching bye